What's going on fish nerds? It is time for an update on the Planet 54. All right guys, happy Friday and now it has been a week since I introduced you guys to this tank and got it all set up and everything. It's been a little over a week since I actually set it up, but I wanna show you guys some things that I've already changed in this tank and talk about a few things but let's just go ahead and take a look you can see I've already added uh, some hardscaping here last time we just had the plants but I uh, had this piece of driftwood here and it's got a really cool I don't know if you can quite see it there's like a natural curve in there it just kind of makes a cave the way it lays in there so uh, added that in there put some rocks around it leaned, leaned it on some rocks put some rocks on it in the back kind of made it Look a little more natural like it had just got wedged in there on its own uh, rather than like I did it uh, spread some rocks out coming out this way you know just kind of littering them around and uh, these rocks I actually collected myself uh, near my in-laws house there's a river that runs by their house and just had all kinds of these cool uh, colorful rocks rather than you know around where I live all the rocks are just plain gray uh, so I thought these were really cool so collected a bunch of those so I just got them scattered around here and you'll notice There's been a ton of Melting going on with the crypts. You see all these bare spots uh, You know some of these have gotten a lot smaller lost a bunch of leaves um, no problem uh, They'll you know, they'll grow back and you know the, the pieces I don't you know I don't know if that's salvageable, but you know what doesn't grow back these will get bigger and I can spread things around so it's no big deal that's gonna grow back in and uh, replanted one back there and now that I've added some hardscape in here I do feel like I need to move some of these plants and uh, I didn't before I filmed I didn't even take the time to you know pull out these dead vow leaves before I started filming just keeping it real for you guys but like uh, this crypt wind eye right here, I probably want to move that back behind that rock so it doesn't end up hiding it. And uh, also to kind of fill that space in back there a little more. I'd like, I'd really like to have a bunch of crypt coming out from behind that to kind of mask it in a little better, make it look even more natural. I think this piece right here is gonna look really good as that grows in and kind of forms a little bit more of a cave. Uh-oh, lights just went out, hold on. All right, sorry about that. Got the lights back on now. But uh, as I was saying, as my hope is as this crypt fills out some more, uh, that'll just kind of close that in a little more and give us more of just like a small passageway down into that little wood cave back in there. Uh, may need to pull this guy out because we've got this one right here. I might want to scoot him over to where it's kind of more in the middle of those two rocks so it doesn't totally block them. Uh, I may end up moving uh, the Calamostratum back over to the 55 gallon but I've basically decided all these other plants I'm gonna leave them in here uh, and then once I do that you know I've got several of the Wenti eyes right here I may end up scattering them around moving them a little uh, maybe move one over to where the Calamostratum is uh, may put another Wenti eye over here in the corner you know, just some, some small changes like that, making some adjustments, uh, maybe get some more vowel to kind of fill in back here, whether I grab it from over here or if I just let it fill in naturally on its own. But yeah, I, I've gotten so happy with the way this has turned out that I really don't want to change it. And uh, I've basically just decided to, uh, to leave everything in here and not move it back to the 55, uh, including the fish. Uh, I really like the way the depth works with the angel fish. Uh, you know, they can go back there. You know, they still got plenty of room left to right, but then they've got the extra depth here in this corner style. Uh, and I really like the way they look in the tank. And uh, I think they enjoy it too, because it's not just, you know, back and forth for them that, you know. So my plan is just to leave all this the way it is I do plan on getting a bunch more of the Cardinals that I've got back there hopefully that'll get them out a little bit right now they're just kind of hanging out in the vow uh, but even if they don't if I get a bunch more of them I'll be able to see them moving around through the vow 
which I think will look really cool. And uh, the fish are really happy in this tank. Uh, these guys have actually uh, dropped a batch of eggs. Unfortunately, the bristlenose ate them. But uh, yeah, she's already laid some eggs since they've been moved into this tank, you know, just in the first week. So I guess as far as they were concerned, it was just a massive water change that moved all the furniture around. We do have our banjo cat hanging out back there. Uh, I honestly expected that he would be utilizing this cave, but I haven't seen him anywhere near it. Uh, he just kind of tends to, to hang out and, you know, as banjo cats do, he's extremely sedentary. He doesn't really move around or anything. He just stays in one spot unless he gets moved. But what's cool about this guy in particular, I, he doesn't really hide that much. He'll kind of hide in plain sight. He, he won't move. He'll, you know, depend on his camouflage and just stay still. But uh, he doesn't tend to, you know, go off and find him places to hide. Not that there's as many places in this tank as there were in the 55. But I figured he would end up using this, and he hasn't. Uh, but even in the 55 gallon, he would end up just, you know, laying in a bunch of the crypt leaves and just, you know, just be still and depend on his camouflage. Which I think is pretty cool because even though he's not swimming around, I can at least see him. And he's a cool looking fish. Uh, and we've got our lone coolie loach in here from where I used to have more. But he's the, the last remaining one. I never did, you know, I never really planned on keeping him uh, any more than what I did. So I was just kind of letting them all, you know, go off one by one. But he's our, our last remainer. Remainer. That's not a word, but anyway, he is one fish that I do think I will uh, move back into the 55 gallon because he will work well with uh, what I have planned over there. And uh, as for what I plan on adding to this tank, I already said I want to add some more cardinals to this tank, but I also have already a school of six Corridors. I believe they're Corridors Delfax and the 75 gallon out in the garage. I think I'm gonna move those over here. Uh, and then I've also got a uh, red lizard catfish, the red whip tail, that I think I may move him over here and just have us a nice little uh, South American community tank out here. We got the banjo cat, some corridors, some cardinals, got the angel fish. That's kind of the plan right now is to move some of the plants around as they grow in, you know, as necessary, just kind of redoing that and may have to replace some of the crypt parva, you know, since so much of it melted back. Move this guy back into the 55 once it's set up and uh, everybody else just stays here and we're going to add to what's going on. But I really am really liking this cave. I mean, it's simplistic. I'm not saying it's extravagant and I'm not saying it would win any awards, but I really like the look of it. I like how we got some structure over here. It kind of smooths out. We got all the tall stuff in the back. Uh, I really like the way this little cave turned out. I'm happy. I am happy, happy, happy with this setup. But let me know what you guys think, how this is coming around. Uh, it already looks a lot different than it did last week, but let me know your opinions. Let me know what you think I should add to this tank. You know, if there's a cool fish that you think would work good with these angels and uh, what I plan on doing here, uh, let me know. If there's a cool plant that you think would look good in here that maybe I haven't thought about, throw that in the comments below. And also, I'm going back to the aquatic experience this year. So if you are going, if you know somebody who's going, Throw it down in the comments below. Say, I'm going to the aquatic experience and I will see you there. All right, guys. Thank you so much for watching. You guys are awesome. God bless you, fish nerds. I'll see you next time.